Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the fifth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about some of the most important data types in C++. So I've got a file opened up here. It's called data underscore types and in the file on line number four I have declared the main function and between the opening curly brace on line number five and the closing curly brace on line number 18 I've got a bunch of executable statements. So we're going to talk about data types, but before we get there, let's spend little time understanding variables, right? So you can think of a variable as a container or a jar. And just as you can put stuff in a container, uh, you know, liquid, solid pebbles or whatever, or cookies in a jar, you can put data or value or information in your variables in programming. So data types allow you to define what kind of information you're going to store in your variables right in in a way they restrict you from putting only uh, you know certain kinds of values in variables and not all values right so this this is required in a language like c++ which is strongly typed you need to specify the data type for your variables uh, as you create them but in some of the languages like Python, for instance, you know, you create a variable that has one type at the time of creation, and then you can store a completely different value in it later on. But in C++, it doesn't work that way, or maybe it works in a slightly different way. So um, I've got four variables over here, which obviously have values uh, that belong to four different data types because I want to do, you know, just briefly talk about each of these four data classes. So I've got the bool data type, the char data type, int, which is a short form for integer, char is a short form for character, by the way, and float. So the bool data type allows you to only store two values, you know, one of two values in your Boolean variables, right? So the value can either be false or zero as it is treated in programming or true or one, right? So in this case, I have created a variable called my bool, which is of the type pool of course and it has the value false or zero right and the syntax for creating variables and this is I'm sure familiar but uh, it's that you have to type in the data type first then give a space and follow that up with the name of your variable which has to be unique and it has to be legal right so there are rules on valid identifiers or variable names basically uh, for the different programming languages and there's really not much difference in the way uh, variables are created in C++ and you know in other languages like C or Java for that matter. So the data type first followed by the name of the variable then the assignment operator or the equal to symbol and finally the value that you want to store in it and this doesn't have to go on one line so you can define or sort of declare your uh, variable on one line and then on the next line you can initialize it by storing a value in it and if you are doing that then you need to specify the data type only at the time of declaration not at the time of initialization right if you're going to do it on separate lines um, so that's about bool the char data type allows you to store a single character in your char variables so in this case i have created a variable called my char and i have stored in it the character upper case A, right? So this is capital A. This is different from the lowercase uh, alphabet A. And whatever value you store in a char variable, you have to ensure that the value is enclosed within single quotes, right? That's important. And the third data type is int, which, uh, as I mentioned, is short, short form for integer. And this allows you to store whole number values in your integer variables. And the last data type uh, that we're checking out here is float which allows you to store fractional values in your float variables. 
so next I've got four C out statements which are just going to display some strings uh, the names of the variables uh, and the values that are stored in the variables and of course uh, the four strings are going to be uh, displayed on different lines because I've got the end L operator at the end of each C out statement just before the semicolons right and I've got a return statement on line number 16 so everything looks good let me make sure the file saved I'll click on build and run to see the output and there we go so we see that the value in my bool is zero uh, right because we've stored false in it uh, the value in my char is a in my int is 15 and the value in my float is 25.63 right so in future tutorials we are going to discuss these data types as well as you know a couple of other data types uh, in more detail we are also going to talk about type modifiers and how you can extend the range of numbers that you can store in your numeric data types like integer and float and you know um, lots of more interesting stuff around data types and variables uh, is in store so I hope you guys had fun watching this video you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm gonna see you soon till then take care